To quantify the emissions in an event, we establish uh, an, an emission boundary and essentially we determine what are the contributors to the event, what's in that boundary and what's outside of it that we can reasonably exclude. Primarily it's, it's transport of attendees, performers, uh, staff and officials to and from the event. And that can be localised travel uh, in buses, vehicles, trains, and it can be interstate and international travel uh, with aeroplanes. In the case of Adelaide Festival, there were over 18 sites that were used. So at those sites, there was electricity consumed, gas consumed, waste generated, and there's the freighting in and out of goods, food consumed at events, and beverages as well. So all those things have a, either a direct uh, emission contribution or an indirect emission contribution through their supply chain. We haven't left a single stone unturned and it's been a really, uh, a really significant process and exercise. But it hasn't been like medicine because one of the things I wasn't expecting was how much the staff got on board. They wanted to contribute their own ideas, things they'd seen in their own community. Clearly something that united the staff, that motivated the staff, and that made them feel really proud about working for the Adelaide Festival. For the Adelaide Festival, uh, they certainly were looking at paper reduction, moving to a digital environment, looking for green energy uh, supply partnerships. Technology has moved on to a point where a lot of those information flows and the ability to link sustainability metrics to financial records is available. Trellis using machine learning techniques brings in PDF electronic invoices and translates the, those invoices from a finance record into a sustainability metric or several metrics. It just makes good sense to measure emissions and reduce emissions because if you're reducing emissions you're ultimately saving money. In addition to the work that we did in trying to reduce our carbon footprint, we then looked to offset uh, the balance of our carbon emissions. The project that we chose was a wind farm in Gujarat. You know, we're lucky enough here in South Australia to live in an economy that is largely renewables powered. And we felt that it was important as an international festival that we help uh, support a project offshore rather than onshore. Our journey has been one that I guess we've taken both consciously as something that the organisation wanted to do, but also one where we're conscious of the impact that that can make on the community in terms of promoting the importance of sustainability.